Hi everyone, I'm Amy and this is Reese and we have a great 20 minute full body kettlebell workout. So don't forget your kettlebell, you'll only need one. Here's what you can expect in this workout. Kettlebell swings, dead cleans, bent over rows, and step to squat lunges. We're gonna get started with a warm up first. You've got 30 seconds of jumping jacks coming up in three, two, and one. 30 seconds on the clock. Nice and easy. It's just your warm up. Just get the blood moving. Hands coming overhead to touch. Feet coming wider than your hips. Engaging your core. And smile. That always helps. Only about 15 seconds left. And then we're gonna take it into an inchworm. Keep moving. In three, two, and one. You're gonna do an inchworm now, hinging at the hip, coming on down, walking it out into a high plank, stop, squeeze in that high plank, walk it on back, roll it on up, bring it down again. It's just a warm up, no need to rush. You've got about 10 seconds left here. Abs are engaged, shoulders are over wrists. Stand it on up. Now we're gonna go into a hip opener. I want you back in that high plank. Swing your right foot around. Pulse here for a minute. And then come back. Repeat on the opposite side. Pulse for a minute. Come back. As you're doing this, make sure that you're not slamming your foot down onto the floor. Make sure that you're stepping lightly. 10 seconds left. That just helps to make sure that your abs are still working throughout. And three. Two, and one. Last warm-up move is mountain climbers. Driving your knees straight into the center, straight toward your chest. <sighs> Keep breathing. Are you feeling that light sweat yet? I am. Woo! Keep breathing, shoulders over wrists. 10 seconds left, stay with us. You've got a 60 second rest coming up. <sighs> and three, Two, and one. Great job. Woo. Take some deep breaths. You've got 60 seconds of rest here, and we're gonna come back and do that one more time. All right, hope you grabbed some water. Feeling a little bit warmer? How you feeling? Feeling warm. All right, we're gonna do that same warm-up circuit one more time. Keep breathing. Whew. We're gonna get started in five, four, three, two, and one. Jumping jacks again. 30 seconds on the clock. Maybe you pick up the pace just a little bit this time. Still no need to push it. If you still need to warm up, if you're doing this first thing in the morning, Still no need to push it. You've got 15 seconds left. Keep breathing. Five more seconds. We're gonna take it into that inchworm. Three, two, and one. Into the inchworm, bring it down. Walk it on out into that high plank. Squeeze everything for a second. Bring it on back. Stand up. Again, if you wanna bend your knees here, as you take it out into that plank, if that feels better on your low back, be my guest. This is your time, it's your workout. Only about 10 more seconds. Let's see if we can get one more rep in. Woo! Now we're gonna stay in this high plank, stay right here, and go into that hip opener. Right leg forward, warm it up, bring it back. See how lightly you can bring that foot down. See if you make no noise. Really make sure that you're engaging your core here. Only about 15 seconds left. If you're feeling warm, go ahead, pick up the pace. Otherwise, stay right here with us. In three, two, 
and one. Mountain climbers, last move in your warm up. If you want to start jogging it out like Reese is doing, that's great. If not, keep it slow, one foot at a time. Sometimes it's even a little more challenging to vary that speed. 10 more seconds, I'm gonna jog it out. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stand it on up, take a break. You've got 60 seconds, grab some water, grab that kettlebell, and we're gonna get right into your workout. Okay, I hope you're feeling nice and warm. We're gonna get right into that first circuit. We're gonna start with kettlebells. You'll do three moves, 30 seconds on. You'll get a 60 second rest at the end of the circuit. Pick up your kettlebell and let's get started in three, two, and one. 30 seconds of kettlebell swings. You can take this first round nice and easy. No need to rush. Whew. Let's talk through what we're doing here. This is a hip hinge movement. This is not a squat and lift the kettlebell. That's not what we're doing, okay? It's hinging at the hip and swinging the bell up. Only about 10 more seconds. You don't need to go overhead. Just let the momentum carry the bell up and then bring it back down. In three, two, and one. We're gonna go right into a forearm plank. Put your kettlebell down, forearms in front. Set up that plank and hold right here. This is gonna feel like a bit of a challenge because we just went from moving and kind of doing this nice little cardio move into doing this isometric hold. So that means isometric hold, all of your muscles squeeze super tight, your abs are tight, only five more seconds. Stand it on up and we're gonna do a squat. Grab your bell again, 30 seconds right here. Squat it down, stand it up. Hip hinge, squeeze the glutes. Stand up, squeeze your glutes again at the top. You'll notice I'm holding the bell like this. If you wanna take a different variation, you can hold the bell by the handle. Bring it down, tap the bell to the floor, stand it on up. Only 10 more seconds, and then you've got a 60 second rest coming up. In three, in two, and one. Nice job on that first round. We're gonna do that same circuit two more times. Get some water, catch your breath. We're coming right back. All right, hope you grab some water. We're gonna go right back into that same circuit, second round. You know the moves now. Try to pick up the pace a little bit. Grab your kettlebell. We're gonna start with swings in five, and in four, three, two, and one. Kettlebell swings. Something to keep in mind here, as you're doing this hip hinge, your abs are still engaged, and I want you to almost think about is if someone were holding a rod right behind your back so that you're staying perfectly straight the whole length of your spine, up through your neck, up through your head. Only about 10 seconds left. Keep it going. Maybe you push the pace a little. Pull that kettlebell back down. In three, two, and one. Right into that forearm plank. Put the kettlebell down, set it up, and stay. <sighs> Don't forget to breathe here. It can be tough when you're doing these isometric movements to just hold your breath, that's not gonna do you any favors. 15 seconds left. How you doing, Reese? Well, this holds tough. <laughs> it's a little tough. Stay with it for five, four, you're gonna come right back up 
into that squat right now. Stand it on up, into that squat, bring it down, stand it on up, squeeze your glutes at the top. <sighs> Gonna show you one more variation on this kettlebell hold. You can also hold by the horns, which are the uh, connecting parts of the bar here. <sighs> Just another way, you hold the way that feels most comfortable for you. Only five more seconds left. <sighs> In three, two, and one. Great job, you killed that round. We're gonna do that circuit one more time, but first you get 60 seconds of rest. Great job on that second round, everyone. We're gonna do the whole circuit one more time. Last time, you ready? Let's get it. All right, let's do it. Let's pick up that kettlebell. You're gonna do swings in three, two, and one. Kettlebell swings. This is the last time, last round. Really give it some speed this time. Don't forget to breathe. Keep moving. If you get a little tired, don't worry. We're right here with you. You can do this. I know you've got this energy. You've only got about five more seconds left, so keep going. Exhale, and time. Great job. Set your kettlebell down, set it up for that forearm plank, and hold. Now you might notice I rock a little back and forth sometimes. It's a bit of a habit. Sometimes I do this just to pass the time, just to kind of keep my mind occupied so that I'm not thinking like, oh my gosh, how much time is left? So I just move a little. If you want to do that, that's fine. But you've only got five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Stand it on up, grab that kettlebell, and you've got squats. Woo, we are flying through this round. This is your last move. Give it everything you've got. You've got rest coming up. Don't slow down now. Keep moving. 15 more seconds. Don't think about it. Just keep moving. You can do this. How you feeling, Reese? Feeling good. Great. Woo, squeeze those glutes at the top. Three, two, and one. Great job. You guys crushed it. Put that kettlebell down. You've got 60 seconds of rest, and then we're gonna move into a totally new circuit. We're gonna get started with circuit two. It's a totally new circuit. Pick up your kettlebell. We're gonna do everything on the right side first, and then we're gonna do everything on the left side. We're gonna start with dead cleans in three, two, and one. Okay, a lot going on in this move. And I don't want you to hurt yourself with this kettlebell, so make sure you start with a light weight. You're coming down. You're engaging your core, your glutes. There's a little pulse and then you're gonna swing that weight, snap into it, and stand up. This is a bit of an explosive move. In five seconds, you're gonna start a lateral lunge in three, two, and one. Lateral lunge out to the right, step it out, come back up. Nice and easy. These are weighted moves, so there's no need to rush here. You've only got about 15 seconds left. Starting to feel that right side burn out a little bit. That's okay. We're gonna even it out in just a second. We're gonna go right into our bent over rows after this. 
Stay on that right side. In three, two, and one. Bent over row. Now, think about really engaging your tricep here. Your lats. You can kind of hang on to your side. Feel those muscles engage. Pulling your elbow close to your rib cage. Only 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna move to the left side with those dead cleans in five, four, three, two, and one. Left side now, same move. Stand it on up. Again, little pulse, stand it up. It's an explosive move. You've gotta put some energy behind it. 15 more seconds. That doesn't mean you rush. Is your core engaged? Are you using your glutes? Are you using your arms? Whew. Lateral lunge in three, two, and one. Lateral lunge, left side now. Step it out, get nice and low, come back up. Keep breathing. You really wanna sit into that left glute. Feel that nice stretch on the right side. 15 more seconds. My right leg isn't moving at all. Just the left side here. Five seconds to that bent over row. In three, two, and one. Bent over row on the left side now. Woo! How are you feeling, Reese? Well, I'm feeling it. All right. This is the last move of the circuit. You get a little rest after this. And then we'll come back and do it again. 15 more seconds right here. Stay with it. Squeeze that tricep. Feel it against the side of your body. Is your core tight? Three, two, and one. Put that kettlebell down. You've earned 60 seconds of rest. Get some water. We're coming right back. One more time with that circuit. You can do this, I know you can. Pick up that kettlebell. We're gonna go right into those dead cleans in five, four, three, two, and one. Pick it up. Final circuit here. Give it everything you got. That doesn't mean you rush the move. Again, weighted moves, no need to rush. 20 more seconds here. Are your, is your core tight? Are you engaging your glutes? All right, five more seconds, then we're gonna go into that lateral lunge on the right side in three, two, and one. Great job, go right into that lateral lunge, right side, stepping it out, sitting back into that glute. You've got this. Last time through with this move, really make it count, really make that form perfect. Only 15 more seconds. Are you feeling this in your legs? I am. How about you, Reese? I'm definitely feeling it. <laughs> right side's feeling it. Five more seconds into that bent over row. In three, two, and one. Right side, bent over row. Woo. Here we go, squeezing that tricep. Really using your lats. Thinking about being totally straight from your neck all the way down through that back leg. Only 10 more seconds here. Keep breathing. And in five, four, we're gonna do this on the other side. And one. Into those dead cleans on the left. Get up. Last time. This is your last time on this circuit. And your second side. So you're really in the home stretch. Give everything you got. You can do this at home. Stay right with us. 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna go into the lateral lunge. 
on the left side in three, in two, and one. Going right into that lateral lunge now on your left side. So step it out, sit back into that glute, keep breathing. Only one more move after this one. Only about 20 seconds left here. Keep that core pulled in. Really sit into that glute each time. You can do this. If it's starting to be sore, that's okay. Just keep moving less than 10 seconds. Then we're going into that bent over row in five, four, three, two, and one. Bent over row on the left side now. Last move of this circuit. Really give it everything you got. Really feel that tricep squeezing up. Really feel that your whole core is engaged, your back is engaged. 15 more seconds. Whew. How you doing, Reese? It's burning. Yeah. Really feeling that left side burn out. You're doing great. Stay with us. Three, two, and one. Great job with that circuit. You've got 60 seconds of rest. Take a deep breath, get some water. We've got one more circuit to do. Two circuits down, one to go. Are you still having fun, Reese? I'm loving it. All right, let's get into this third circuit. Pick up your kettlebell. You're coming down to the mat. We're going to do kneeling halos for 30 seconds on the clock in three, two, and one. Bring it all the way around, and then all the way back the other way. Nice and easy. This should feel like it's using your arms, your shoulders, your upper back, and of course, your core. Really important here to stabilize with your core so that you're not, you're not twisting with the kettlebell, right? You're just you're staying in the same place, really using that core to bring the bell around. You've got five more seconds, and then we're going into a step to squat lunge in three, two, and one. All right, you're gonna start with your right foot, your step, step, stand it on up, and then squat to kneel back down. Start with your left foot now. Stand it up, squat to kneel again. Keep moving here. You've only got 10 more seconds. And then after this, we're gonna go into a walking push-up in three, two, and one. Put that kettlebell down, set it up in a high plank. Now you're gonna take your arms wider than your shoulders. Give me a push-up. Walk in with the right hand, left, push-up again narrow. Feel free to drop to your knees here, walk it out with the right, push up wide, walk it in, push up again. If you need to set it up, stay in this high plank, lower slowly, and in three, two, and one. That's it. You've got 60 seconds of rest. That circuit flew right by. Get some water. We're going to do that circuit again. Just did that circuit one time. We've got two more rounds to go. Let's get right back into it. Grab that kettlebell. We're starting again with those kneeling halos in three, two, and one. Bring it around. Nice and big circles. And bring it back the other way. Keep breathing. You've been here before. How can you refine the movement this time? How can you make it even more precise? How can you use even more muscles? Keep smiling, keep breathing. Only about 10 more seconds here. 
Then we take it into that step to squat lunge. Three, two, and one. Starting with the right foot, step, step. You're in that low squat, stand it up and squeeze. Down again, bring that foot back down. All right, make sure that you're alternating the foot that you start with each time. Gives you something to think about. Only about 10 more seconds, stand it on up, and then we're gonna go right in to that walking push-up in three, two, and one. Put the kettlebell down, take your arms nice and wide into that high plank. Give me a push-up here with your arms wider than your shoulders. Walk it in with the right hand, walk it in with the left hand. Squeeze, bring it down again, push back up. This time, step out with the left hand first, then the right hand, nice and wide. Give me a push up, step it in with the left hand first, in with the right, and bring it down and up. You've only got three more seconds. Give me one more rep. Three, two, and one. Woo! Second round done. 60 seconds of rest. Get some water. We're coming right back for a third round. circuit this is your last time through give it everything that you've got grab that kettlebell we're going right into kneeling halos in three two and one last time here you can do this you are stronger than you think if you're tired that's okay we're tired too just keep moving here 20 more seconds engage that core keep that back nice and straight Really see how big can you make these circles. Go slow. It, it might be more challenging that way. We're gonna go into that step to squat lunge right now. Right foot up, left foot, squeeze at the top, and bring it back down. Start with the opposite foot. You can do this. This is your last time doing this move. 10 more seconds here. Keep it on up. Woo! And in three, two, and one. Put that kettlebell down and you've got push-ups. Remember, we're starting with our hands wide. I'm gonna take it down to my knees this time. That's totally fine. If you are tired, you can do the same. Remember, your form counts. I wanna see good form throughout every single circuit in this, in this workout. Keep moving. You've only got four, three, two, and one. Woo, great job, everyone. You completed three rounds of three totally different circuits. I hope you're still sweating. Get some water. We're coming back with a cool down. Good job, everyone. You totally killed that workout. We're gonna do a nice cool down now to reward your muscles for all of that hard work. So go ahead, hinge at the hip, bring it on down, walk it out into a high plank. Pause just for a second here, and then immediately push back into a downward dog. Oh, you can walk out your feet. This should feel really nice. You can push back. 
You can lean forward a little bit. Whatever feels good for you, this is your time. Take one more deep breath. Exhale. And then you're gonna swing that right foot forward into a hip opener, just like we did at the start in the warm up. Rock back and forth. Maybe if your flexibility allows, you come down to your forearms. Stay here for a second, breathing deeply. And when you're ready, gently bring that left knee down to the mat and then sit on up. Feel this nice hip flexor opening here. This one always feels really good at the end of a long day. Deep breaths. And with your hips still square, lean back on that left knee, right leg straight, flex your right foot and lean it on over into a little half split. Really breathing out here, trying to keep a bit of a flat back, not really rounding over, but really trying to work on that flexibility here. And when you're ready, come forward onto your right foot again, hands down, lift the left knee, step it back into that high plank. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side, bring that left foot forward, Rock back and forth. Come down, if you came down on the other side to your forearms, come down on this side. And when you're ready, bring that right knee down to the mat. Sit it on up. Really stretch that hip flexor open. This, if you sit at a desk all day, this is gonna feel really, really nice. And when you're ready, lean back onto your left knee, or onto your right knee, flex your left foot, bring it on down. Again, thinking about hinging here at the hip to come over. So if you're here, that's good, stay here. If you've got a little bit more flexibility, that's fine too. But we're not rounding our back in order to reach. When you're ready, Put that left foot back down, reverse the movement, lift up your right knee, step it back into that high plank, and then very slowly now you're gonna walk your hands back toward your feet, and then stay in this rag doll. Stay just nice and loose, bent over. You can grab opposite hand to opposite elbow, sway back and forth. Make sure that you are not locking your knees your knees are nice and loose, nice and soft. Maybe you bring your hands behind your back, stretch overhead. Again, keeping a soft bend in these knees. And when you're ready, let that go. And now we're gonna roll up really slowly, one vertebrae at a time, so that your head is the last thing to come up. Roll those shoulders back, bring your head up, exhale. Great work, everyone. You did an amazing job. Thanks for joining us for this 20 minute full body kettlebell workout. If you liked this workout, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Amy and this is Reese. And we hope you come back real soon for another workout.